Hello there, this is Jana Smakula for Spellbinders Creative Arts, and thank you for joining me today. In this video, I'll show you how to create a classic holiday card using several dies from Spellbinders. I'll be working with Holiday Flakes and Skates from the Holiday 2016 collection, Ravenna die from the Renaissance Jubilee line, as well as 5x7 Metting Basics B dies. I'm going to begin by die cutting and creating two ice skates for my card. For the bottom part of the ice skates, I'm going to use gold foil cardstock. You can use silver foil or maybe even glitter cardstock. And for the top part, I'll go with the red for this project. But again, you can use other colors, maybe even patterned paper if you like. Here I have my platinum die cutting and embossing machine. And for cutting, I'm using my base platform, clear cutting plate. I have my paper and my die with a cutting edge facing down and another clear cutting plate on top. This die can also be embossed, so I'm going to emboss my die cuts by using an embossing sandwich, which is base platform, the die with the paper still inside facing cutting edge up, tan embossing mat and blue embossing plate. To make it easier to adhere the red die cut ice skate over the gold one, I'm going to add a double sided adhesive to my red cardstock before die cutting it. This will create a sticker for me after I cut it and will make it much easier to adhere the two elements together. When I'm die cutting the ice skates out of red cardstock, since I don't need that bottom part, I am not worried about not cutting it. And I also emboss these two pieces to have that additional detail and dimension. I'm going to use my scissors and will trim the blade part off the boot on the red die cut. Now I can go ahead and adhere the red die cut over the gold one. And since I added that double sided adhesive to the back of my paper, I now have a sticker and can easily adhere it in place. You can also use glue to adhere these two pieces together. Now if you'd like to add laces to these ice skates, and I do want to add laces to mine, it's best to trim the bottom layer, the gold layer, shorter so that you don't have a double layer of cardstock where the holes for the laces need to be. I have found it to be a little bit difficult to pierce holes for the laces through two layers of cardstock. So here I've decked another pair of ice skates. I used my tool in one and pierced the holes in my die cuts and now I'm adding white laces to these die cuts with the help of a needle and some white thread. Now if you want you can also stencil through a die to add additional detail. And here I'm using red distress ink and stenciling quite a bit of ink onto my die cut. I am not going to use this particular stencil die cut on my project, but I wanted to show you different ways you can enhance your die cuts and stenciling is definitely one of them. I also want to die cut a few additional pieces for my project and I'm going to use two larger dies from the Ravenna die set and will die cut the largest one out of gold foil cardstock to match the bottom part of my ice skates. This is a very beautiful die and you want to make sure to not only cut it, but to also emboss it in your machine. Another element I'll need is a smaller die cut from the same set and this one I decided to cut out of cream cardstock. It will also house my sentiment for this project. I wanted to add some pattern paper to my card, so I used a rectangle die from the 5x7 Metting Basics B set and die cut and also embossed a rectangle out of this beautiful pattern paper. So now that all of the elements have been die cut, let's go ahead and put this card together. I'm going to adhere my patterned paper rectangle over the gold die cut. I also cut another patterned paper panel and this one measures 5 by 7 inches. I added some machine stitching around the edges and adhered it onto a card base that measures 5 and a quarter by 7 and a quarter inches. Next I will foam mount the smaller cream die cut on top. I've already heat embossed the sentiment that reads wishing you peace this Christmas and I used gold embossing powder to match the rest of the elements on my card. And finally I'm going to add the two ice skates with the white shoelaces to finish this project. So here's a closer look at this card featuring Spellbinders, Holiday Flake and Skates dies. If you have any questions about this card, please leave them in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe to Spellbinders YouTube channel for more education and inspiration. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time!